Hey, good fox here. Today is Sunday, and you know what that means. Mailbag day. The sponsor today is Finland, where all fish go to vacation. So we're going to start off with a few viewer questions, and then move on to NFL picks. And then after that, since it's a longer video today, you see it, it cut into a good length. I'm going to go to Ask Reddit and read off their news section and try to answer off the top of my head. See how terrible that goes. So, all right, Pop Tart Extreme, two weeks in a row with a question. I love it. Um, what do you think about road signs? And this was done um, four days ago or five days ago. So it's before this latest bundle. Um, do you see them going down in price? But basically, uh, I guess I, I answered this from the comments. Yeah, I did see it going down. It did go out. It did hit a bundle topper again. Uh, but I haven't seen the prices. How how have they fared? I uh, haven't been on Madden since Friday night. Why? I want to do it because it's fun. It's fun to do bad things. To drive into a car. Well, did you know that you could perhaps kill somebody? Yes, but I wanted to do hood rat stuff with my friends. So yeah, basically I did hood rat stuff with my friends. Uh, so let me know. I'll, pro I'll be, you know, after this video shortly moving on to Madden. So I guess we'll see then. Alright, next question. Chris Rico, uh, my mailbag question for the week is, what did the fox say? You know, I'm always asked what the... What does the fox say? I've never asked, what does the fox feel? Alright, Mason Jernigan, if you got a golden ticket, who would you use it on? The obvious choice, as he fakes into my uh, fake pass protect, uh, is Deion Sanders, that 99 card. Uh, you make that card, immediately that's like a 4 million coin card. And that thing would just shut down half the field with the stats it's currently got, and have a golden ticket. Um, that's clearly the most valuable one right now, but I'm sure a Michael Vick card will come out that we'll get a couple golden tickets of again. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, you know, get it to somebody really tall, like Julius Peppers, or I looked on Mutthead as the tallest guy. It's Brian Mihalik at 6'9", at defensive end. So I'd use him as a user, 6'9", maybe give him you know, good speed, agility, user stats, of course. Uh, it depends on how much you can give to one category and how much points they give you overall. But if I were to, you know, select my favorite player from this year, uh, you know, just based on homerism, uh, need a skew at middle linebacker, great on the stats for speed and whatnot. But uh, fandom-wise, if I had a choice, it'd probably be a Steeler. And off the top of my head, Greg Lloyd would be that person right now. Um, Troy Polamalu would be really cool if they brought him back. Um, I'm trying to think of any other awesome Steelers. Lynn Swan from the past would be cool. He'd probably have a really good spec catch and jump. But, anyways, there are a lot of, you know, old school players in the Steelers, even though we get a lot of them. A lot of old school players in the Steelers that aren't in the game. Terry Bradshaw, I feel like he'd be an easy choice for this game. Anyways, moving on um, to the NFL picks. That was it for questions this week, uh, I think, from the viewers. Unless I missed something, I apologize if I did. Let me know if I did. Uh, Indianapolis at Atlanta. Atlanta's favored by six. Do I want to take... I'll take Atlanta. Um, at home. Denver at Chicago. Uh, you know, I hate what Denver's quarterback situation has become, but Chicago's got Langford playing well. Uh, I'll just take Denver getting a point, although they're on the road, because I like their defense. I, I feel like I'm going to do really badly this week. You ever make a, you make a week of picks, or I don't know if you'd make picks, uh, and just feel really bad about who you picked. That's what I feel this week. Uh, I, I already, uh, you know, looked at some of the games and, uh, well, looked at all the games and picked ahead of time, so that's why it's not off the cuff. Anyways, Oakland at Detroit. Detroit is a home dog here, and I love me my home dogs as he gets a nice pick there. Uh, so two points. Uh, I will take Detroit with two points. Dallas at Miami. It's an even game. I'm taking Miami. A lot of hype for Romo. Not sure. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure Dallas. If although that would be a great story, you know, Romo coming back and saving Dallas' season, something like that. Uh, I'll just take Miami anyways because eh, they're at home. Tampa Bay at Philly. Philly is favored by six, and I will take the favorite. Philadelphia, Washington at Carolina. I'll take Carolina, even though Carolina is given seven. Uh, St. Louis at Baltimore. I'll take the dog. St. Louis is uh, giving or getting one and a half points, so I'll take them. Uh, New York Jets at Houston. 
I'll take the Jets because I think the better team, although Houston. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna go through and get to the athletic section because I, you know, I waver back and forth. I mean, these teams, you know, it's the NFL. Anything can happen. And last week I was six and seven. Did I, I didn't say the full record on my league. Six and seven last week. What am I for the year? I didn't add it up beforehand, and I apologize for that. Let me see if I can find my history here. Riveting stuff, I know. All right, my overall record is 44 and 48. So bet against the Fox because you were, you will do well with that. Uh, so where did I leave off? Houston at, or Jets at Houston. I took Jets, uh, even though it's a equal game. No line there. Uh, it's a straight pick'em. Kansas City at San Diego. Kansas City is favored by three, and I will give it to them. I will take the favorite. Green Bay at Minnesota. Green Bay is the dog by a point. So they had to lose three in a row in order to become a dog. And I will take Green Bay on that. Uh, San Francisco at Seattle. I'm taking a lot of road teams. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man. This is going to be a bad week. It's like a lot of road teams. All right, San Francisco at Seattle. San Francisco's getting 13 points. 13 is a lot of points. And uh, it's a rivalry game, and that's why I think it's going to be closer than 13 points, and I'll take San Francisco. Although Seattle will probably win. Cincinnati at Arizona. I will take Arizona, even though they're giving four. Huh. Is Arizona a better team than Cincinnati? They played really well. Their secondary is solid. Buffalo at, I'll stick with it. I decided earlier, I'm sticking with it. Not going to falter now, you know. Buffalo at New England. New England is favored by seven, and I will take them with seven. All right, so we have, you know, a minute and a half left, or a little bit over a minute. That's less time than I thought we'd have left. I thought this was going to have more. All right, new section of Ask Reddit. Who's the most famous person that you've had less than a five-minute conversation with? Um, I talk with Stephen Colbert every night, actually. It's funny to, it is to say. I talk to him in my living room, huh? little you know the conversation is a little scatterbrained i think uh, always rambling on he's always whatever uh saying a bunch of things and people in the background uh laughing really at what we say it's kind of cool actually uh but usually uh, we end the night after a long chat about an hour or so you know he sometimes brings on a third party maybe a guest and we don't get much in as edgewise i don't get much in edgewise i mean um next question you turn into the main character the last thing you watched her play. Who are you now and what do you do? Well, I am a wanderer of the wasteland. And I am uh, quick saving on a few super mutants to try to defeat their holdout. It's not going well for me, but luckily I have the power of saving and loading, which will things make things go easy. Anyways, that's the end of the game. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.